Model trains can be a popular hobby and also a fun toy for kids. This month we'll explore how we can make our own magnetic train set as well as how we can turn it into a maglev train. First, we found some wooden trains online. These came without magnets, so they're perfect to experiment on. How could we attach these trains magnetically? Our first thought was to use some countersunk magnets. These are magnets that accept screws, which will make it quick and easy to attach to the trains. While these magnets had a firm holding force, they didn't allow for the trains to turn at all. We added a steel bearing in between the magnets, which did allow for turning, but it didn't quite have the look of a normal magnetic train set. While experimenting with this, we actually had a customer email us who was trying to make a similar thing. He had the great idea of using some upholstery tacks with a magnet set underneath the head. This provides a firm hold, allows for turning, and also has a clean look. We found our winner, thanks to our awesome customers. Let's build it. To make sure that the trains would attract consistently, we marked the north pole of all the magnets. We're using a ring magnet, our product number R621, the link is below. Half of the tacks will have the north pole facing the head, half will have the north pole facing away from the head. We'll say that all of the rear assemblies will have the north pole facing the head and the front assemblies will have the opposite, since opposite poles attract. Once we push them in, and they track very nicely. And we did a quick pull test and it takes just over half a pound to pull the magnets apart. That's a little bit stronger than a typical toy train set, but weak enough to still pull apart if you want to. And here's the finished product. We can connect several of these and all the magnets hold really well. For larger trains, you might step up in strength a little bit and use something like our R622. The only issue we found with our design is that the train can't make really tight turns. There isn't quite enough room between the trains to do this. Using a thicker magnet would help with this too. How could we make this even cooler? Let's turn it into a levitating train. We glued some bar magnets onto a track and on the underside of the trains. Here we have to make sure the same poles are facing each other since we want them to repel. We found that having two smaller tracks, one on either side, provided more stable levitation compared to a single row of magnets in the middle. We also found that making the bottom track slightly narrower than the width of the train helped it too. We have a more in-depth video about maglev trains that we made a few years back. The link is below. One thing to remember is that levitation with magnets is not stable. They don't want to stay repelling and will do whatever they can to not repel. There needs to be something that keeps them in place. This is the reason for the plexiglass sides. The sides keep the trains stable. Without these, the trains would either flip over and attract to the magnets, or they would just fall off the track. But this could be an awesome way to step up your model or your toy trains. Make sure to send us some pictures and videos if you end up trying this. 
Links to all of the magnets we used are in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.